You never know how long the battle's going to be. You always have to be ready. And the run dory is the main thing of the black belt test. This was a lesson in fear and overcoming your fears. The run dory is where the test, that's where the test lies. Basically, in Tiger Sensei's way of thinking, that this is the standard of Shodan, of the black belt. Ron Dory. Ron Dory is a multiple attack, multiple person attack. You sit on one side of the dojo, three guys are facing you, and when he says, Hajime, begin, they just run at you full speed and just try to take you down. In my mind, it's sort of the essence of the form. That is to say, the idea of the form is to be able to deal with more than one attacker at a time. I mean, if you're dealing one-on-one, -on -one, and certainly we train, that's how we train, but the idea is to finish your form ready for another attack. That is to say, finish in a balanced position. The reason for that is, I mean, O-Sensei was a product of, of sword culture, and sword culture was very seldom one-on-one. -on -one. Sword culture was uh, more often more than one attacker against a single opponent. So you have to put your forms together. That is to say, you have to blend with one attack coming at you, uh, neutralize that attack, and then immediately be prepared to deal with the next attacker. Basically, you let go of everything that you think you know. It's, it's an exercise in freeing yourself up of thinking about all these things, of thinking about how your, your knee hurts or how, uh, how this last time this guy clubbed me from the side or, or any of that. If you think, it's too late. If you take the time to make a decision, it's too late. If you do, if you hang on to that and you stand in, you think you know, or in other words, your own arrogance or egotism, if you want to call it, if you stand in that, you'll get smashed. And that's the value of the Rondori because basically when they says go, these are three guys that are one breath away, away from being in reality on the street. I mean, there's been situations, I think, on the street that I would, I wouldn't want, I would want rather than this. You can't even be, you can't be thinking fear, not fear, anything, because any thought that goes through your head, it's immediately visible in your body, physically. It's, uh, you know, a matter of, of uh, relieving yourself of having to worry about anything and uh, being able to to deal with whatever situation they can throw at you, whatever three minds and the dynamics of three people coming at you at full speed can do. Rondori is your first opportunity to get a clue about the infinite number of ways to attack you, to grab you, to punch you, to kick you. And when I say that, I mean that they were free to do that. They could punch, grab, kick, spit, bite, whatever they wanted to do. Of course, on the other hand, you were allowed to do that too. He didn't even care so much in the Rondori if he even did a technique. He didn't care what it was you had to do. Whatever it was, as far as he was concerned, that was it. You just have to do, and you have to do it very quickly. The, the main thing is being there in the moment and dealing with nothing but what's there. When you've got more than one person coming at you, and they are all coming at you with the same intent and simultaneously, you don't want to get captured, and you certainly don't want to be taken to the ground. In that instant, he wants you to think, this is life and death. These guys are going to kill you. They get you, you're dead. Once they hit you, I mean, you realize this is for real. And, and it gives you an opportunity to understand what letting go is all about. The world doesn't change for anybody. I don't care if you're a woman. I don't care if you're a baby. The world doesn't change. The evil doesn't change out there. All those things that we have to face don't change. Okay? The only way we can teach anybody is by being real. All right? If you can stand up, that's good. If he falls, we'll make him stand up again and again and again. All right? So, there's no favorites in the dojo. There's no women. There's no men. There's no old people. There's no young people. You come up for showdown, everything's the same.
I think that Sensei, you know, uh, as an Anglo, uh, I think that in order to be treated as an equal, my understanding is that he actually had to be better. Uh, I think that there were people that came in and challenged him. He didn't have to be tough, he just was. You don't get to deal with the man to start with. You've got to prove yourself against his students first. I had no idea what he was doing. He's very fast. Like lightning. You'd sit there and you'd watch him do a technique and he did it so fast that I had no idea what he just did. But what did he do? It was too fast, I couldn't see it. And then he did these great flips and different kinds of falls and, and then I saw everybody else doing it and they didn't do anything like the way he did it.